Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how I make this beautiful black gardenia candle using soy bliss wax. If you wanna see how I do this, keep on watching. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, okay guys, so today we have a very special video. I don't know if you remember, on, at the beginning of my channel, I was obsessed on creating a, a black gardenia candle and I was using color uh, on, on, uh, with the wax. I was successful in making the candle. However, when I did uh, the burning test, uh, it failed. It failed because I think the, uh, the amount of color that I added to the wax was uh, way too much in order to get the rich black color. So I'm gonna attempt to make a black gardenia candle using soy bliss wax. I'm gonna be trying to use the minimum amount of color and let's see what happens, okay? So I'm gonna gather all the uh, ingredients that I need and I'll bring her back, yes! Okay guys, welcome back. So we are here at the candle bar and I'm starting to, uh, to gather all the ingredients that I need to make the beautiful black gardenia candle all over again. Hopefully this time it will uh, work out for me. So I remember guys now, I remember that uh, the reason why it didn't work out, um, it was because when I made the full size candle, I think I'm gonna have to make full size candle out of, out of these guys. So uh, let me just go get uh, a vessel, hold on. So there's no other way around it guys. I'm gonna have to use uh, this vessel because this is the one that I was planning to do, uh, to use for my black gardenia candle. And uh, so I'm gonna just bite the bullet, like they say, and I'm just gonna make a full size candle. Uh, I was planning to do it in, on, on the mason jar, but this is not gonna give me... I'm gonna need to test it anyway, so I need to make it like the real size. So, let, I mean, let's go for it, you know? It says, why not? Okay, so I'm gonna be using a gardenia tuberose and I'm gonna mix it with another oil. So this is another beautiful gardenia. I'm gonna be adding equal parts this and equal parts a gardenia tuberose, okay? That's gonna be my gardenia candle. And I'm gonna be using, guys, a uh, black liquid dye from Color Science, from uh, from Candle Science. I'm gonna be uh, using this, and I'm gonna mix it with uh, this purple magenta dye. I wanna give this, uh, you know, being that I'm, I am a hairdresser, you know, when uh, when you dye somebody's hair black, uh, you you also wanna see a kind of a reflect on the hair to make it look more expensive. So you either wanna make, give it like a, a reflects of blue which is ideal, which I, I think it looks beautiful, blue-black, or you wanna give it a little bit of a, a purple, purplish uh, look also. So that's also, that's very uh, expensive looking. So um, since I don't have any blue, I'm gonna add this magenta, okay? So what I'm gonna be using, guys, it's gonna be the LCS 100, which is uh, a pizza vessel between 3.75 and four inches, okay? This one here. So that's one week of that, okay? And let's see, let's see what happens, guys. Hopefully that will be uh, a winning combination. And by the way, guys, my, my four lavender candles, I gave them to my neighbor and she's reviewing them now. I, uh, I should have them by Friday, so I'm gonna give you the, the full review. Oh, and guys, I wanted to, to tell you guys that, you know, I uh, ordered uh, a place in order for frac acid lux. I ordered four ounces, I paid 45 dollars for four ounces, so it's coming soon because I, I got the, the order already uh, confirmed and it's, it's being shipped as we speak, okay? Guys, if you have one of these presto pots, make sure that you buy a, a set of silicone spatulas, guys. You don't wanna use any kind of a metal on that, on that kind of pot because you don't wanna scratch it, you know? And then you're gonna have pieces of metal uh, in your wax, so you want to avoid that, so. It's good to have a set of uh, silicone spatulas. Okay, let me just turn on the lights in the background so to give us a little bit more ambient and we're back. Yes! Okay, we're back. Beautiful. Yes! Okay. So here my beautiful formula, three different oils. I'll show you the two gardenia oils that I, work, that I put in here. And I added another oil with a color sample. Which, by the way, the way you test is this by You take a little bit of the wax and then you put it on a white piece of paper. And depending on the color, when it's dry, that's the color that you're gonna be getting. So that's how we test it. 
it's just like when we do color for her, uh, you know those passion colors like the pink colors or this that you do uh, that's how we customize the color by testing it on a piece of uh, paper towel which is this one here let me just shake it okay 10 drops and five drops of the magenta and let's see what happens Okay, and I'm gonna mix really well, and I'm gonna take take the piece of paper towel. You see the color, guys? I need more black. I don't need to add, I'm gonna add 10 more drops. Actually, five more drops. Okay, this is beautiful. Do you see the color difference? This is darker than the other one. I think it's gonna give me uh, a beautiful, almost black candle, being that I have, being that I have the, the background of this is black, so that's gonna reflect the black. So you're not gonna even if it's gray, if it's not as, as as dark as this, it's gonna be dark enough because the uh, the vessel itself is black. So it's gonna be black. Okay. So now right away, I need to add the fragrance oil. That's why you have to keep testing, guys, as you go. But you have to be fast because this wax needs to be hot. Can you see the wax in the in the, right here? I'm just gonna hope for the best. I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Okay guys, welcome back. So here's the beautiful black gardenia. Let me show you. So these are the oils that I use. Two of them because I use three. I use this one. Gardenia tuberose from Candle Science. And I use gardenia from Candle Sound Supplies. Equal parts. And I added a third oil that I, uh, it's my, my, my trade secret. So I'm gonna divulge that information. And I also uh, wanna show you the colors that I use. I really like using a liquid color, much better than solid chips. Uh, why? Because I dissolve better in the wax, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it on the starting here and I'll come back after the candle solidifies and I'll give you an update, okay? So I'll, I'll see you later. Okay guys, we're back and here's the candle. It's been four hours and as you can see, the color is like a dark purple which I have my suspicion that I was gonna do that. Remember, this is soy, and the soy wax takes a lot of uh, color in order to turn dark. So, remember, I use 15 drops of this black liquid dye, and then I use five drops of this magenta, from candle science, and then these are the two oils, the two of the three oils that I use for the candle. So now what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put it in this box to cure. Uh, so today is Tuesday, so on uh, Saturday, I'm gonna I run an HD test and see how that performs. And I'm gonna let you know on Sunday, August 15, at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. So I'll see you guys over there, okay? So in the meantime, let me just put this to bed. Again, I'm using an LCS 100 wig there on the center. I'm very happy. Okay, come on, baby. Oh, let me see, do I have any CT? Yes, the CT is very strong. It's because these oils are very strong. So, okay, so. Go to bed, baby. Go to bed, I'll see you Saturday. Hi guys, welcome back. So this is the day after. Uh, I'm curing the candle in here. And I just wanna show you the way it looks. The day after. As you know, I always cure them on this. This is the box that this came, came with. That's why I saved them all. So I have them in the closet. And it's the perfect thing to, to cure the candle. So this is the black gardenia. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the candle is purple so you know last night I, I knew that it was gonna be purple like this guys so last night I went to sleep and I you know there was something bothering me and uh, you know it's just I'm not happy with this you know if I say I'm creating a black gardenia candle this has to be black there's no other way around it you know so otherwise I would say just a gardenia candle oh, the city is amazing guys 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do with you guys uh, is I'm gonna remelt this and I'm gonna make it again and I'm gonna be adding more black. Okay? And let's see how this works out. So, uh, you see, like in my channel, I share with you my successes and my failures. And this to me is a fail. You know, if, I, if it's not perfect, if I don't feel like I'm proud of this, uh, I'm not gonna put it on the market and I'm not gonna uh, produce it. So I want, I want to uh, put up a product that I'm proud of and I wanna say, uh, this is my black cardinia candle, it better be black, not purple, okay? So, uh, let's start, okay? Yes! By the way guys, I'm, I was gonna go to the gym, but I decided to do this before I went to the gym because you know, when I, you know how it is guys, when you have something on your mind, you know? Uh, it's the same thing when uh, at work, you know? If you have something that is not complete, it's not to your satisfaction, uh, you have to make it better because you know what? It's your name going out there. So let's redo this candle again. Yeah! So for this process, I'm gonna be using the grill, guys. And as you know, I'm gonna have to uh, prep uh, the vessel again. So again, I'm using the LCS 100. And I'm using these two oils. I already showed you at the beginning of the, the video. Okay, so I'm not gonna be using any more of this magenta because I think it's plenty. Uh, next time I'm gonna be using like Instead of using five drops of the magenta, I'm gonna use two drops. Uh, okay, so let me just put this away. Put later, use. Okay, and I'm gonna start warming this up. Let me just take this off. I'm gonna reuse it again. So I'm just putting it in the side in here. So I can reuse it again. Okay, so let me just get uh, the heat going, guys, because I wanna get the candle wax released from here and I'm gonna put it into a melting pot and I'm going to uh, add uh, more color, okay? I'll show you how to do this. Okay, let me just uh, get everything set up and I'll be right back. So let me get the heat going, guys. Here it is. And I'm gonna get the candle. By the way, uh, the sun is coming through the window, let me just close this. It's very early in the morning. So I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna take the candle, guys, and I'm gonna place them in this container. This container is big enough that I can have my hand in there, you see? So I'm gonna put it upside down. I'm gonna take the heat gun, I'm gonna heat it with heat. All I want is just, so not too hot. So I'm gonna heat it. So all I need is just to heat, I release it from the bottom to uh, detach it from the sides. Okay, this is not ready yet. So let me just pour more uh, more heat. Let me just get paper towels also because I don't want this to get too messy. Okay, so I'm gonna continue putting heat. Just do it like every 30 seconds and then stop and then just check it again. Be careful if it gets too hot, have a towel. Can you handle it? No, this is too hot now. So let me just let it rest in there for a few seconds because then it's melting. Take a towel and then start pouring. Okay. It's starting to melt on the sides. Definitely needs a lot more color. So I'll just keep turning it up and just let it, it will come off. Okay, here we go. Okay. So it came off with a wick and everything. You see, guys? So now I need to do just pick up the, the wax left over on the sides. Okay, so now I'm gonna wipe this clean and I'm gonna clean this again and I'm gonna prep it again. I'm gonna put another wick, another LCS 100. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put this in the grill until it comes to heat. I'm gonna wait until it comes to 200 degrees, guys, because I wanna be able to use the same amount of heat to blend in the color. So let me just rinse this out and I'll bring her back. Okay, guys, so I rinsed it and I put another LCS 100 wig in here on the new. Okay, so I'm gonna bite the bullet. I swore that I was, gonna, that I was not gonna use them, but this black tie ships from California Candle Supply. I'm gonna add one, one of these and see what happens. I'm just gonna add it now and let it melt with the wax, it melts. Whenever you work with soy wax, you know, this is not 100% soy wax. 
uh, but it's soy wax tends to be more uh, pale it's very hard to get a rich black wax using soy I mean this is wax and uh, soy and paraffin and so it's to give me a richer color uh, the test is gonna be on the on the burning test guys that I'm gonna do Saturday this is why I wanted to do this candle now because I want to let it rest until Saturday and then I'm just gonna do a, an HD test and see how for at least four hours and I want to see if there's any smell any after smell what I did is I'm using 12% uh, fragrance oil load in here I added 2% more of my uh, my trademark uh, oil at this point I just want a beautiful black rich candle so I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel and I'm gonna do uh, like, I like I showed you yesterday but this time it has to be black and if it's not black enough, then I'm gonna add more of this liquid and see what happens. Okay, so this is fine. Let me just test the color now. I'm gonna test it in here. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. Okay, it's not dark enough, so I'm gonna add more black. I'm gonna have five more drops. Okay. Yes! Let's try this again. Okay, it's turning darker now. It is darker, but it's still not black. I'm gonna put five more drops. I'm gonna put, I mean, as much as I need, and let's just see what happens. I'm gonna put five more. So, so far, I put 20 drops of black and five drops. Let's see what happens. You know what, guys? It's always. I'll just test it out, you know. And if it smells like chemically, and I'll just, I'll just give up because I don't want to add more color than this. Really, you know, twenty drops. It's what I used the last time, and I wasn't happy. So, let's see what happens. Okay, so this is gonna be the darkest that I'm ever gonna be able to get it. It's definitely much darker than than before. It's still purple. I'm gonna have five more drops to help with it. I mean, since I'm here, I might as well just, so I'm gonna have 25 drops of black. The testing, I think this is as dark as it's gonna get. So remember, I added 25 drops of black, one dye sheep, and five drops of magenta. So this is as dark as it's gonna get, so now I'm gonna pour. Oh my god, it looks very rich, the color, this time. Beautiful. It is gonna be purple, guys. There's no other way around it. Uh, I'd rather be purplish like this than gray. I remember the last time when I didn't put enough uh, black. It look kind of grayish and I didn't like it. At least it's gonna give you a, a tone that is like, you know, it's it's gonna give it a, a richer tone. So, okay guys, so here it is. Let me just clean it up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. So let's do a quick recap, okay, of, uh, of what we did this morning. So as you can recall, yesterday I made, uh, I, was temp I was attempting to make uh, my signature black gardenia candle. Uh, so using liquid, uh, liquid color. From kind of science. So what I did is I used uh, yesterday on on yesterday's attempt. I used 15 drops of black and five drops of magenta. And unfortunately, it came out a pur dark purple. So that was not good enough for me. So this morning, what I did is I remelted this uh, the candle. I put it inside this container here, and then, then I put it inside on the grill, and then I heat it up, and then I added one black tie chip. And I added uh, 25 more drops of the black, okay, to make it a richer, uh, a richer uh, color. And now I'm gonna let it set. And I'm gonna go to the gym and I'll come back and I'll show you how it looks uh, because I wasn't happy with the color that I came out yesterday. So uh, I just wanted to show you how I fix, try to fix my uh, my mistakes. It was not really a mistake. It was just a uh, a failure, a fail, a fail attempt, okay. So and we're here to help you show the guys, so I'll show you uh, my fails and my successes, so hopefully this will work and I'll see you back in a few hours, okay? Yes! Okay guys, welcome back! So I just got back from the gym and I just wanna show you the candle 
Uh, I think it's beautiful. I think it's dark enough to be black. Let me show it to you. Up close and personal. Beautiful. I'm very happy. So I'm gonna trim it now. It's been um, four hours since I made the candle, guys. And I'm very happy. So let me just trim the wig now. Ta -da! And I'm gonna save this for testers. So I'm gonna put it on the side. So again, let me just show you the candle. This is as dark as, as it's gonna get. So, now I'm gonna put it inside the box, guys, and I'm gonna cure it until Saturday. Uh, because on Saturday, I'm gonna run an HD test. I'm just put it in here. Ta-da! And let's see how it does. So, guys, so this is, this is a lesson learned, guys. It's like, you know, when you do something, anything that you do, you know, like in life, it's, it's, I was doing a, a video for my other channel too, for Help Today Movie Michael. It's, you know, when you do something, guys, try to do your best, do not settle for less, okay? Try to do your best at the time, you know? I, I could have just left it, uh, the candle to be uh, dark purple, and that would have been fine, but if I'm gonna be selling a black gardenia candle, it needs to be black or at least as close to black as possible. And that to me uh, does a job really. So don't set up for less guys, just try try, try making the candle over and over again, you know, uh, until you get it right, until you feel uh, good about it with yourself, you know, and you, and you know that you see this product and you feel proud of this product and just test it, you know, and just, I know this, this may not be perfect, you know, but that is the process, you know, you have to keep, Try and perfecting uh, the product until you become uh, knowledgeable enough so, so you know, okay, this is the best I can do. It's beautiful, okay? Hopefully this will work. Who knows? But uh, the testing continues, guys. And this is the process that we all have to go through when we are creating high-end candle line, okay? So, guys, I'll see you Sunday, August 15, at 12 Pacific Standard Time. 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. So. Please come visit me and if you have any questions, any suggestions for you guys, uh, leave them down in the comments uh, below and I'll see you Sunday, okay? Take care, bye! Yeah!